Hey guys, I have a pointer shotgun that a friend lent to me to do a review on. And it comes in this nice little black case here. Got to spin it around so I can have the uh, part that opens towards me. But there are four little latches here you have to slide to open it. And there are two holes in the ends here if you need to put a lock on it. Open this up. It comes with the owner's manual. It comes with a chamber flag. It has the, uh, the plug for, for uh, restricting the magazine tube for hunting reasons. It comes with a box with a total of five choke tubes. You have four in here and one installed in the barrel. And then underneath this little flap here, we have all the shims to adjust the, uh, the stock as well as the choke tube wrench. And they provide one spacer to lengthen, uh, to extend the length of pull. We have a 28 inch vent rib barrel and that has a fiber optic sight, a red fiber optic sight on the front. Now the model number of this is nowhere to be found on the shotgun or in the owner's manual. Um, but doing some research on the Legacy Sports website, which, which is who uh, imp imports this shotgun. This is a Turkish-made shotgun. Uh, the best I could tell, I'm not positive on this, but as far as I could tell by matching up all of the uh, features and everything, this is called the... Oh, what is it? I just... I forgot. The Sports Tech... Four, I believe. If I'm incorrect, I'll annotate it on the screen. But to assemble this, remove the little cap here. Pull the forearm off. Slide the barrel over the mag tube. Pull back the bolt handle a little bit there. Actually, I believe you have to pull it completely to the rear. There we go. Okay, now it's seated. Put the fore end back on. Oh, you also have to make sure that this is seated in there well. And replace the nut on the end. Okay, we have a cross bolt safety right here. Push it through. Uh, your bolt release button here. Has a sling mount here and then one on the end of the mag tube and that's uh, pretty much it it's got a matte black finish I'm not sure if that's nitrate or what it's definitely not blued synthetic stock a decent uh, recoil pad so that's pretty much it uh, I'm not sure on the weight. I'm going to have to, I'll annotate the weight of this on the screen once I find that information. So I'm going to do a trigger pull on this. Okay. Five pounds, 5.9 ounces. So it's not great, but it's not bad. So I'm going to get this out to the clay park 
and see how well it shoots. So, see you when we get out there. So, I got it out to the clay park, and I'm just enjoying a cigar after a couple of rounds of trap. I like to do that when I come out here. It's a beautiful day out, but uh, anyway, the shotgun, it ran flawlessly. I had no problems with it whatsoever. The trigger pull is decent. It's not, not great. It's not bad. It's, it's decent. Um, the only negative I have about this shotgun is the bolt release button. It is a little stiff for my liking. It's not horrible, but it could be lighter. Um, but it is manageable. Um, now today didn't exactly go the way I planned. I came to the uh, clay park and forgot my tripod, so the only footage as you saw that I uh, got was from the action cam that's mounted to the shotgun and that thing wanted to fall off after every shot so <laughs> I need to come up with a, a better way to, to mount that uh, to the shotgun because it, it didn't like the recoil of it whatsoever but anyway um, the shotgun I mean it's it's a good shotgun for a, a budget priced shotgun you know um, I have no, nothing negative other than the the uh, stiff bolt release button on it. Um, I I would recommend it. You know, Pointer isn't a bad brand. I have a couple of them myself, and and uh, I I like them. So that's uh, that's it for my little review of the the Pointer semi-automatic shotgun. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk to you later.